So in this video, we're going to be having a look at the Sapphire Gearbox, an external graphics card enclosure that can seriously level up your gaming or video production performance for either your laptop or mini PC. How the Gearbox works is by housing a regular sized desktop graphics card that connects to your device through the Thunderbolt 3 interface. While you won't get the full force of the card's power through the Thunderbolt 3 connection, you will see huge results increasing your graphical performance. So let's get on with the testing and for this I was sent an Intel i5 Nook with a Sapphire Gearbox housing a Sapphire RX 580. So first off I just wanted to experience the gaming experience on the Nook itself and I knew this was going to be an awful experience but I just wanted to see the night and day difference the Gearbox could offer. So I loaded up some Fortnite and set everything down to low settings keeping the resolution at 1080p and then dropped into a game and oh my god I've not played on such low frame rates in years my mouse felt like it was traveling back in time it was so laggy and unresponsive. I was generally quite shocked that I even managed to kill people with this kind of performance but not long after I started playing I started to feel quite nauseous with the lack of control of my mouse sliding about everywhere and as soon as I was dead I immediately reached for the gearbox. As soon as I turned on the gearbox and loaded into Windows, I knew everything was going to be alright again that instant as the mouse felt smooth and responsive and that was just in the operating system. But now I could also utilize my monitor a hell of a lot better using the DisplayPort to use a higher refresh rate as the Nook could only run 60Hz while using the HDMI port. Once I set my monitor hertz accordingly, I went straight back into Fortnite with the same settings and the same resolutions and when we started playing, as you'd expect, there was a huge performance increase. We were once getting 35 frames average on the Intel Nook and now we average 179. It was an incredible jump from an unplayable system to an incredibly fluid smooth gaming experience. Also we could up those video settings no problem whatsoever. Another huge benefit to connecting a gearbox to a laptop or a mini PC is the video production content creation side of things and using the AMD encoder certainly sped things up when it came to rendering files in Adobe Premiere. So to test this I quickly set up a rendering test putting the Intel Nook versus the gearbox with the RX 580 inside just to see how quickly they could run off a one minute video. The encoding settings were very similar to each other using the same bit rates but I did add higher quality settings to the GPU render to see if it could still outperform the Nook, which it safely did as the GPU rendered out the footage in 109 seconds whereas the CPU took 223. Rendering speeds isn't the only benefit to your video editing experience when attaching an external graphics card to either your mini PC or laptop. I'd say the biggest noticeable improvements is with video playback performance and when actually working with your footage directly and wanting to preview added effects or color grading with no drop frames in a high resolution. This will certainly speed up your workflow and make your editing experience less stressful and more productive. With all that being said about video editing software it's important to note and be transparent is that most video editing software does rely more on CPU performance but adding a good GPU will definitely improve your whole situation. We also see some big wins on the gaming front and while a dedicated rig is always going to win out over products like the Gearbox, I still do believe there are legitimate scenarios where combining one of these with something like an Ultrabook would make a lot of sense. For example, students that are heading off to university who are going to be constantly moving their main gaming rig back and forth between their student digs and their parents house could find an eGPU the perfect solution. It's a little too easy to get caught up on the bandwidth, percentage gains and price to performance of having and using an external GPU and while these things are certainly worth considering and looking into, at the end of the day it comes down to does a product like the Gearbox solve the problem that I have? For me, personally right now, I won't benefit from using an eGPU, however a few years back when I was doing video game coverage and travelling all over the world editing videos on my laptop in a hotel room, I would have loved one of these, not only could I smash out a video in likely half the time, but I would have been able to chill out during the downtime and play some video games myself. 